Uh, what struck me in particular was the tone of the meeting. Yeah. That was jovial, friendly, yep. give and take on both sides. What do you say, David Webb? Uh, one, one thing I, I got to point out, who was not there? Mm. Yeah. Al Sharpton? Jesse Jackson? Black Lives Matter? Congressional Black Caucus members who are not really there for the black community, NAACP, mm. not there. Uh, even the United Negro College Fund, a group which has partnered with the left more than they have with the education of the black community. Who's missing matters? And you don't have angry people demanding right. reparations and payback for some aggrievance. Rather, these are people that sit there, and I know some of these folks. Mm. They're looking for solutions in those neighborhoods. And if you start to fix the neighborhoods, it blossoms out to the rest of the community. I didn't see any victims in that meeting. The victimology is not yeah. here. There the are, victimology, there, but rather, there. they'd rather attack the issues that deal with the real victims of crime, of drugs. Yes. And the other big victim here is someone who doesn't get a good education, mm -hmm. who loses the potential for a future. Yeah. You, uh, so yeah. to David's point, Donald Trump wants to fix the inner cities with that one trillion infrastructure spend. How is he going to pay for it? He wants to cancel spending on things like global climate change, how the U.S. funds that, and also stop illegal immigration because he says, he has said that is hurting our African-American low-income worker. Well, is that the next generation of African-American leadership in the United States? Or I'll, that, I'll go a little who, wider. It's, go. it's the next generation of American leaders. What have we seen as a society? We're not static. We've evolved beyond the 60s, mm -hmm. voting rights, civil rights, women's rights. We are where we are today. And the problem is people have put people in blocks or yeah. boxes. Blacks are black. That's obvious. That's the accident of your birth. But you deal with the issues from an American point of view, the economic issues, the education issues. I'm the one who goes back to Ferguson, as Dr. Carson and I did when no one else would. And we went back there and talked to the folks there. You know what they're looking for? They're not looking for black solutions. They're looking for economic solutions, education solutions. They want to start a business. They want to get ahead in life. They want to do whatever they want with their lives under the American dream. Do those people around the table, left-hand side of your screen, do those people think of themselves as hyphenated Americans? More not, Americans. I, not the ones I know, and I would care to venture that most of them don't. The fact that you're black, like I said, is how you're born. Uh, Emac, born a woman. Tammy, born a woman. Ashley, you and I, born men. After that, it's up to you to deal with the issues from what really matter. The dollar is green, so to speak. It doesn't care what your color is. But if you don't have enough of it, if you can't earn enough of it with a good education, how do you get ahead in life, whether you're black, Hispanic, male, female, whatever the case may be? How is Solve this the problem. How is this going to be received in the black community? Because it's so obviously different from the, mm. the political uh, 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 that we've seen before. Well, okay, you mentioned victims. No victims that are there. And I go back to Trump's Cleveland speech when he spoke to the black community and he talked about combining a safe community, law enforcement, education, and economic opportunity. You need those and more things combined to help. And he's talking to them, not talking at them, not going there for votes, but talking to them and engaging the black community in a, in a language and understanding that they live with. And that's why these people are there. I mean, you know who else they should have in that room? Charles Payne. One of, the, one of the great voices in this country, Charles Payne, Deneen Borelli, another one, people that we've worked together for years on these issues, honest voices that understand the different challenges.